Hello one. So I just get today uh, one kilogram of bacon in the bricks and a pig fat. So got one kilo of uh, bacon and about 700 grams or of pig fat. What I will do with this? I will just cut those also in the bricks and begin to melt it all together and fry it. So let me prepare everything and then we will all see what come out of it. So see you soon. Okay, so how it all done? There is our fat. Anyway, a small trick to cut it easily. Just drop it for 15-20 minutes to the freezer before you begin to cut it. Because yeah, as you try to cut warm fat, then you will know what I mean. It's not not so easy, and you as well need to have quite sharp knife. Anyway, we got something to to mix. We got the pot, so our fat land in the pot. Come on. And yeah, we begin to heat it up. Like almost high heat, but not too crazy. We just want to all start. So, and the self bacon still waiting for his turn. So, bring you all back on. Okay, so everything start to talk, so we need to begin to mix it and fry it slowly. So we're supposed to go down a little bit with the temperature, let's say, yeah, like halfway. And just slowly mix until everything begins to melt it down. So I will play with that. Okay, so everything getting nice and hot. So it's time to give our bacon in. So let me just open it up and put it in. Let's try. I just hoping my pot will be big enough. Let's just break it. And let it just fry. Just like that. I will just come back to it in, let's say, two or three minutes and stir it, and that's all. Okay, so after second mix, I realize that bacon has a lot of water in it so I just leave it open for a while and try to evaporate as small water as I can but anyway that's the look for now I just leaving it as it is without cover and try to get rid of all the water what come out with the bacon Anyway, tiny update after let's say 10 minutes, so see you soon. Okay, now it begins to look like I get rid of most of the water, so that is cool. Everything begins to fry, fry up. 
and it's very nice smell as well anyway I will divide it later on for a few batches and gonna go and search after some jars and I'm gonna spice it up each uh, and every jar differently actually I'm planning to make some uh, onions onions fat and paprika fat and garlic fat and yeah until now that's all my ideas for now but anyway I let it fry and get some jars so see you all guys back soon okay so everything frying nice it begin to look really great so now I'll begin to divide it into some portions and just pour them into the jars what I just picked small jars small portions and yeah first one will be with the onions that's for sure so I just stop it up I mean stop my uh, stove let it cool a bit and transfer some of the stuff to a smaller pot and then I begin to just begin to just pour it into the jars anyway that's the look of it now everything nice fried so see you then okay so guys as I going through the process everything is like nice and fried in here but my plan was to divide all that in a few smaller batches and for one add some onion for second one add some garlic for the third one add some uh, paprika but after I begin to mesh out with this tiny spoon how many spoons I need to put in one tiny jar like that it come out there is no meaning to doing that so I decide to just add my onions from here it's mix it up with the garlic I did add some uh, paprika to it right away I didn't put any salt because uh, our bacon was already smoked and salted so that should be enough anyway let's just give a little pinch of paprika this is not hot paprika this is just paprika as you can see in here I just want to get some taste and later on I will add my onion and garlic to it and fry it for a little bit more and later on I will just fill up all those jars and let it to cool and that will be it anyway I need to clean up my uh, onion plate because there is still a lot of left in, in it so just like that I'll, I will just fry it for a few more minutes until my onion and garlic get like nice and uh, transparent I will give a little bit temperature to it and later on I will begin to fill out my jars so see you back then okay one everything look like getting nice and fried and what I will do now I will just stop the heating under it just like that and begin to put all those goodies into the jars and let it cool so later on we will have some nice things to put 
on our bread, right? Anyway, try to dry <coughs> most as I can. Let's move it from the heat. And now I will just begin to fill the jars up. But first of all, I need some gloves. That's for sure. I got one in here. I'd rather to use the red one, but yeah, this one will be good enough. Anyway, so got my little handy spoon. So, one, two, three. Okay, three is enough for one jar. Then maybe a little bit of liquid stuff and that's that is ready let's just wash the edge of the jar and that's it close it it's not easy in the gloves anyway put it away from the heat source I will fill up one more find the edge to get into it without messing my gloves okay I hit it anyway three okay that's perfect look at this guys don't forget about the cleaning the edge of the jar if you're using those kind but anyway clean jar is half of the success okay I will just fill it up uh, fill up all those jar what I have prepared and then bring you all back in so we will uh, proceed from there Okay guys, that's the end result, finish up and end up with six jars with those fat and bacon and onions, garlic and uh, paprika plus one extra jar in here, a little bit bigger but still all cool I just leave it like it is, just right, like that anyway, it gets cold and all this fat begin to get white and will be the perfect stuff to put at your sandwiches seven jars I believe the small one has 200 milliliters I just want to have it in small portions this one is slightly bigger maybe 300 something like that or maybe even four anyway I just leave it to cool and that's it. I will enjoy it tomorrow and I will show you what it looks like. So, yeah, take care and see you tomorrow, guys. Hello, guys. So, just after, let's say, three hours in about under 20 degrees Celsius temperature, that's the look of our jars. And I can clearly see, I just give too much. Uh, thick stuff on this one, this one, this one, this, and this. <laughs> so basically, only these two jars could stay a longer time. As you can see, that was the last one where I put all leftovers and a little bit thick stuff, and the rest was just liquid, liquid fat. This one mixed up quite well. You can still see some thick stuff at the top, but anyway, this one it's even pasteurized, so it's clicking, so it could hold for a longer time. Anyway, those I will need to use in let's say 
three to five weeks time otherwise it they begin to get broken but anyway even I believe if I leave these things the top will not pop out okay I flip it and it pop out anyway let's just make a test as it's already open smell test perfect so that will be the first jar what I take tomorrow with me to work and I just put it on my bread and maybe pinch of salt or onion on top of it and that will be great sandwich anyway will not try with the rest that's for sure that's the effect for now and yeah see you soon hello peeps so that's the effect uh, I supposed to show you next day next to I finish it but I just have no time and anyway that's the look of this fat and uh, bacon and onions and spices and yeah this one is slightly different that was uh, last jar and as well one is already gone I eat it all like in two days I believe anyway I make little mistake in all this as you see this one clicked right away I even hear it the same evening when it's cooling down it's all sealed with the fat and have some uh, meaty bits at the bottom and this one actually can stay up to let's say easy 10 years just like that nothing will happen with it or maybe at least what could happen maybe some something grow on the top but when you just slice it away you still have a great product to put on your bread or something anyway at all of this all those meat pieces sticking out from the fat and that was no good so this is like short term product will be broken in about let's say three four weeks so I got to get into it or either way drop it into the uh, fridge anyway how it look how it smell it look great smell great taste as well just close up look I did open this one as well because yeah actually yesterday I just made one sandwich for me anyway try to smell it <laughs> so that's the effect like five jars left one I eat already and if I make all like this with those layer of fat on the top then will be very long term products this one will close but yeah I just put too much meat and not enough uh, liquid fat anyway so that's the result I hope you all guys enjoy it and maybe one of you one day you will try those recipe and yeah that's very good I love it so thank you and see you next time take care everyone bye